This is part 9 of Ninja Jumper made with Pygame Zero on Moo. In this video I'm going to show you how to add in the music and the sound effects um, and then I'm also going to talk about things that you could do to this game to make it your own um, after you've finished following these videos. So let's start by adding in the stuff for the music. Okay so what I have discovered um, with sound effects in Pygame is that um, just with the basic settings, uh, the sound effects play a little bit late, okay? There's a little bit of a delay, and with a fast-paced game like this, um, it really ruins the sort of atmosphere of the game if the sound effects are not in time with what you're doing. So, this here's some handy little code, which is going to make the sound effects play instantly. So, I'm going to write pygame.mixer.pre underscore init for initialize. And then we're going to set some settings. So 22050 minus 16, comma, 2, comma, 1024. So essentially what that's doing is it's uh, lowering the buffer size um, so the music plays more quickly. But then these lines, um, for some reason in Pygame, make it work even better. So I'm going to go py, Pygame in it, Pygame.mixer dot quit and then we're going to reinitialize the uh, the buffer but rather than pre in it it's just going to be in it that time so pygame.mixer dot in it and then those numbers there and then that gives us a nice snappy sound effects so now I'm going to start by playing the background music that I've added into the game so I'm going to say sounds dot ninja underscore music and that is included in the supporting files you can download those with the link in the description below um, dot play and then to make that play on loop because this game could go on for a long time you actually just put minus one inside the bracket okay and then that allows uh, the the sound effect just to keep looping round, round and round and round let's just test that out quickly there we go Perfect. All the sound effects I've used are royalty free and have been downloaded from freesounds.org. So now let's go down and add in the jumping sound effects. I'm going to go down to where I've jumped, which is down here. And so, so if I am jumping straight away, let's do so sounds uh, dot and then the name of the sound effect, which is jump dot play. Um, and now if I run that, when I jump, I should get a nice little sound effect. There we go. And then the final sound effect that I've provided for you is the gem sound effect when you collect a gem. So I'm just going to go down to the gems. Where is it there? So every time I get a point, I could just do sounds.gem.play, bracket, bracket. And then I have a nice little sound effect that when I'm playing the game and I collect a gem, I've got a nice little sound effect. There we go. So, there we have it. That is the finished um, Ninja Jumper game that I've created myself. Um, and I want you to see this as a starting point for your own games. So you can take the skills that I've showed you throughout these videos and um, make your own game or make your, make your own version of this game. Please feel free to take any of this and use it and make your own games. Please, please let me know as well. It'd be great to see what can, people can do with this. Just some things that I thought that um, people could do with this game um, they might want to do might be, um, for example, putting the platforms in different places. You might want to reposition the platforms around, um, perhaps have multiple levels. Uh, perhaps uh, when you reach a certain number of gems, the platforms reconfigure to a new configuration. Perhaps it's more difficult um, as the number of gems collected increases. Maybe you've got a time limit for collecting the gems. Uh, so you've got maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that to collect a certain number of gems and you're given a rating at the end of that. Maybe you could add in multiple players, okay? So by duplicating the code for the Ninja, making Ninja 2, Ninja 3, Ninja 4, maybe you could have multiple players all playing at the same time, all chasing after gems. Maybe you could have gems appearing which are different 
um, which may be a different colors, different shapes, and then they, uh, they give you different number of points. Com you could even combine that with number of players as well. Um, things like that. Maybe you'd want to change the background, have a different background instead of the cityscape, have something else. And maybe you want to have um, different fading colors in the background. At the moment, it's just fading the blue, which means it goes from a light blue down to a greeny color. But maybe you'd want to change it so it, so it actually fades a number of different parts of the RGB um, spectrum. And so maybe it fades to a, like a dark orange that would simulate a sunset. You'd need to fade a a, a, a couple of things rather than just the blue for that and you have and that'd be a nice little thing to do just to make the game seem a little bit more interesting and fun as that's the uh, in the end of the day that's the name of the game we're trying to make fun little entertaining games using pi game but at the same time expanding our knowledge of programming all right there we have it so please uh see the links in the description below if you want to get hold of any of the files um and if you've got any questions or anything about this feel free to get in touch that was part nine of ninja jumper made with pi game zero on moo